so excited to talk to you because I know you're performing tonight. This is a very exclusive room. A lot of people would do a lot of things to get inside. Can you give us a little bit of a hint of what you're going to be doing for your performance? Oh, well, if you remember, there was a movie in 1990 called Young Guns 2. And John wrote a song for it called Blaze of Glory. And um, I'm going to sing that one with Larkin Poe. Larkin Poe's going to play a slide and rock guitar and we're just gonna have a great time. That's such a steamy, epic song. How did that one come to you? John asked me to do it. He requested that I do that song. I said, yes, sir. Okay, what an honor. Uh, what makes John such an icon? Well, he's just rock and roll. He's 100% through and through. He dreamed that 80s rock and roll dream. They lived it. They wore the clothes and the hair and they went through and then gracefully went into the 90s and kept doing it, kept playing live, kept playing the songs people love, just has, has been a real example of how to have longevity in this business. What do you think has been the secret to their longevity? Their, their dedication to who they are as musicians, not ever trying to get clever and outside of it, sticking with what they know, what they do, and playing for their audience. Uh, you've obviously had a very long career yourself. Uh, the Best New Artist is a very popular award at the Grammys. What, would you, what advice would you give to any of these young artists that are just starting on this journey? Oh, I'd say it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> but if you must do it, do what you love. Do what you love and only do what you love. Because if you start thinking if other people like your if it's if your happiness depends on if other people like your music, you're, you're never going to be happy. So you got to love your music first. Find the people that love your music and know that all music isn't for everybody. And don't take it personally and just play for who you love and keep doing and keep playing live. That's the key. Well, I know that you and Jewel are co-headlining a tour. How did that come about? Well, it's about time, you know. <laughs> well, I've got a great agency, the Washington Agency. They're fantastic. And, um, they they put this together. It's come on. It's '90s, you know, '90s songs, and and I think there's a lot of people from the '90s who remember and want to go see that those uh, concerts and hear those songs, and they will. Absolutely. Okay. Last but not least, favorite Bon Jovi song. Living on a prayer. Yeah. <laughs>